Hello. Today, I'm reading Laughing Giraffe by Mwenye Hadithi and Adrienne Kenaway. In the days long ago, when Warthog was beautiful and Hippo lived only on the land, Giraffe was the noisiest animal on the great African plain. He shouted a lot and he laughed all the time. In the lucky bean tree, where the little weaver birds rested, Giraffe would pop his head up through the branches and take a mouthful of leaves and haw, haw, haw with laughter. The little weaver birds fell out of the tree with fright. In the wild date palms, where the little sunbirds snoozed, Giraffe would pop his head up through the leaves and take a mouthful of ripe fruit and haw, haw, haw with laughter. The little sunbirds were thrown out of their nests. In the tall reeds, where the little kingfishers perched, Giraffe would pop his head up through the branches, take a mouthful of water and haw, haw, haw with laughter. The little kingfishers tumbled into the water. And one day, when the little egrets were sitting on a toothbrush bush, enjoying the warm sun, Giraffe gave them such a fright that the littlest egret fell into a mud puddle. Ha, 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 laughed Giraffe. Giraffe, the littlest egret scolded, you are loud and noisy and mean. Anybody can be noisy all the time. Even I could be as noisy as you if I wanted to. You? That's a laugh, shouted Giraffe. Then we will have a competition to see who has the loudest voice, the, little e the littlest egret challenged him. Agreed, laughed Giraffe. Then let us go into the forest. And we will shout back to the plain and see who has the loudest voice, said the littlest egret. And I shall judge the competition, offered Kudu. You can see Kudu in the picture there walking off with Giraffe and the littlest egret. The sun was just above Giraffe's left knee when they passed the lucky bean tree where the weavers rested. And the sun was just above Giraffe's neck when they passed under the wild date palms where the sunbirds snoozed. And it was just behind Giraffe's head when they finally stopped by the tall reeds where the little kingfishers were fishing. Now, you must shout and tell the animals on the plane what you want for dinner, said Kudu. Easy, yelled Giraffe. I want leafy thorn tree tips for my dinner. And in a voice that could just be heard above the breeze, the littlest egret shouted, I want little brown beetles for my dinner. And as they turned to head home, Little kingfishers flew high in the air, singing little brown beetles. And as they passed the wild date palms, the little sunbirds flitted from flower to flower, singing little brown beetles. And as they passed the lucky bean tree, the little weavers were chattering little brown beetles. And when they finally reached the plain, Kudu asked the giraffes, what have you got? for giraffe's dinner tonight. Today, we have crunchy toothbrush tips, said the giraffes. But I wanted leafy thorn tree tips, shouted giraffe crossly. Well, why didn't you say something, said the giraffes. Kudu then asked the egrets, what have you got for the little egrets dinner tonight? Little brown beetles, said the egrets. This is what she asked for. And the littlest egret has the loudest voice, said Kudu. I declare that she is the winner. Next day, wherever Giraffe went, he heard all the animals on the great plain whispering 
the littlest egret has the loudest voice. And he stayed very silent. And so today, Giraffe doesn't shout anymore. And he certainly doesn't haw, haw, haw like he used to. He keeps as quiet as quiet. But now and then, the giraffe gives a little hrumpf of a laugh, and the other animals don't mind a bit. So I think what that story tells us is sometimes being loud isn't the best way to get your message across. I hope you enjoyed the laughing giraffe. See you next time.